Sri Lankan Elephant Facts Massive proportions, this subspecies has the biggest height and weight of all Asian elephants. They can weigh over 10,000 pounds and reach a height of over 10 feet at the shoulder. Tusk Rarity Sri Lankan elephants only rarely have tusks compared to other types of elephant. Only a small fraction of adult males grow them out. Small range, these animals may be big, but their natural geographic range is not. They are only found in select regions of the island of Sri Lanka. Big appetite, these animals need to eat hundreds of pounds of food each day to maintain their massive body. Sri Lankan elephant scientific name. Sri Lankan elephants are genetically distinct from other members of their species, but can also simply be called Asian elephants like their brethren found elsewhere on the continent. In taxonomic terms, these animals are known as Elephas maximus maximus. The word elapis has Greek and Latin roots that indicate an antlered animal or big arch. The word maximus is also Latin and simply means biggest or greatest, which is an appropriate choice given their size. The subspecies belongs to the Elephantidae family in the Mammalia class. Sri Lankan elephant appearance. Sri Lankan elephants are the largest of the Asian elephant subspecies and the biggest land animals on the continent. Adults can reach a height of 11.5 feet, which is about twice as tall as an average human man. Body weight can range from 4,400 to 12,000 pounds. There is generally a big size difference between male and female elephants. Males are typically 20 to 30 percent taller and can weigh almost twice as much as a female of comparable age. These elephants have a mostly gray body with lighter spots or flecks caused by a lack of pigment in some of the skin cells. They have a rounded torso that is supported by strong, cylindrical legs. They have small, angular ears that are generally tucked next to their heads, which has a distinct double dome shape. Like all elephants, these animals are also equipped with a long and flexible trunk that serves many practical purposes. They are also set apart from other Asian elephant subspecies in that only a small fraction, about 5 to 10 percent, of males grow pronounced tusks. Also, unlike African elephant species, female Sri Lankan elephants never grow tusks beyond short nubs. The longest tusks reported on a Sri Lankan elephant were 7.5 feet long and belonged to Raja, a nationally recognized animal in India who served a ceremonial role in a local religious center. Sri Lankan Elephant Behavior Like other elephant species, these animals have complex and integrated social behaviors that serve a critical role in their development and survival. Groups of related females and their calves, collectively called a clan, typically travel together and share in the responsibilities of caring for young. Male elephants leave their clan when they reach sexual maturity and live solitary lives or in small, loosely bonded groups with other males. All Asian elephants rely on a combination of communication methods to interact with their clan members and potential mates. Their mouth and trunk are both involved in making a variety of noises for short and long distance communication. They also rely on several glands to secrete chemical signals and may use their trunks to communicate via touching. Sri Lankan Elephant Habitat As their name suggests, this subspecies is found only on the Indian island of Sri Lanka off the country's southern coast. While the elephants were once distributed throughout the entire island, from coasts to mountains, they are now mostly found in the lowland regions. They are migratory by nature so only spend some of their time in areas that have been designated as protected parks and preserves. Due to the hot and dry nature of their native habitat, these elephants engage in several types of behaviors designed to manage their internal temperature. They can frequently be seen submerging themselves in freshwater bodies and may cover themselves with mud. They also repeatedly flap their ears as a way of releasing body heat. Sri Lankan Elephant Diet Sri Lankan elephants are considered mega-herbivores due to the vast quantity of plant matter they consume on a daily basis. Adults can eat over 300 pounds of food in a single day or up to 10% of their body weight. Their massive appetite requires over 12 hours of foraging every day and frequent migrations to find fresh feeding grounds throughout the year. What does the Sri Lankan elephant eat? These elephants are generalist foragers, which means they are willing and able to eat many different kinds of plants. Researchers have identified over 100 different plant species that compose part of their diet, including dozens of species used in human cultivation. Regenerating forests are usually better for foraging than mature ones. Sri Lankan Elephant Predators and Threats A small and declining population has prompted conservationists to classify the Sri Lankan elephant as endangered. 
Continued habitat fragmentation due to the expansion of human settlements and growing agricultural areas is a significant threat historically. These elephants were frequently targeted for hunting and extermination until the 20th century, which decimated the natural population. Poaching by humans and attacks from natural predators are a minimal threat to Sri Lankan elephants. The rarity of tusk-bearing males in this subspecies limits their appeal for ivory poachers. However, clashes with humans are still a leading cause of death for these elephants. Loss and fragmentation of their habitat has forced migration through populated areas, which may become violent and lead to the death of the animal. Some farmers also intentionally shoot or poison elephants who could damage their crops. Sri Lankan Elephant Reproduction, Babies, and Lifespan Mating rituals are typically competitive between males with females making the final selection of the most desirable mate. Reproduction can occur throughout the year, but is largely influenced by the hormonal state of the two individuals involved. Females have a brief estrus period of 3 to 7 days when they are fertile and ready to mate. Males also enter a similar hormonal phase called must, which greatly increases their potential as a mate. Sri Lankan elephants have a long gestation period that can extend for up to 680 days. They typically give birth to a single calf, which exits the womb weighing 200 to 300 pounds. Males don't participate in raising or caring for the offspring. Instead, females and their young tend to linger around related adult females in clans lead by a single matriarch. All members of this nursing unit look after and help raise the calves. Calves must nurse to survive for about two years and complete weaning is usually finished after about four years. Calves become independent within a year or two of weaning, with males leaving their clan to lead solitary lives or in small groups with other males. Elephants of both genders generally reach sexual maturity when they are around 10 to 15 years old and can live well over 60 years in the wild. Sri Lankan Elephant Population Current population estimates for this subspecies is between 2,500 and 4,000 adult individuals. The population has been on a declining trend since the colonial period and conservationists believe it will continue in the years ahead. In fact, some experts believe that the animal will be extinct in the wild within decades. Their need for vast migratory tracks and possibility of negative interactions with humans makes conservation efforts very challenging.